All right, so I'm looking at the OpenAI pricing right now and it says for GPT-40, I'll have to pay $5 per 1 million input tokens and $15 for 1 million output tokens. Now, most of us have been using this API for quite some time, but we don't really understand the concept of tokens. In very simple terms, just like you and I communicate using words, models communicate with humans using the concept of tokens. So what are tokens? Tokens are essentially the atoms of words. When you put a word like unhappy, a model will essentially bring Break it down in two different tokens un and happy so it can be a whole word like hello or happy it can be a part of the word like un and happy it can also be a punctuation like exclamation mark or it can even be spaces so why not just use words in order to do the processing well in simple terms it allows these ai models to improve their internal efficiency because now they're breaking each word down into these smaller tokens which they can understand faster rather than taking in whole words and trying to make a sense of what is what the second point here is that certain words the models may not be able to understand but if they're able to break it down into smaller tokens then they may still be able to make a sense of what the word would essentially mean. Now, if you've read something called Word Power Made Easy, it's a book that helps you break down words into smaller sub words such that when a new word is encountered or you encounter a new word that you don't understand, because you know the meaning of these smaller sub words, you will still be able to make a sense of that new word that has been given to you. So the models utilize a similar concept where they break these words down into smaller sub words such that when a new word is encountered, they are basically able to handle it. And second, also it makes their whole processing more efficient. How do they break it down in these smaller words? So they have something called tokenizer, which has knowledge of different sub words, which kind of helps them break these words down into smaller sub words. And I think there are a bunch of different tokenizers that I'll talk about in a little bit. So again, this was generated by Claude, but you can see hello is essentially one token. So unconventional could potentially be three tokens. Un is the first word convention and there's the L. And then there's I love AI, which would be four tokens. So I love AI and then the exclamation mark, like I said, even the exclamation mark will be a token. So in terms of New York, this might be one token because this is the name of the city and would make sense together. The year is 2024 will be six tokens. And this is how the breakdown looks like. Like I said, tokens are created in something called tokenizer. And there are a few popular methods here, which I will not dive deep into, but I'll give you a direction if you want to read more on these. First one is byte pair encoding or BPE. It starts with single characters and then keeps merging the most common pairs. So almost like building words from different characters, but the algorithm stops when it thinks it has enough words. And then there are other methods like word piece, sentence piece, and finally unigram. Again, I'm not going to dive deep into each of these methods and you can read up more about these methods if you'd want to. Tokens are common around any AI service that involves text generation per se, because the model will effectively run for as many tokens as it gets in the input plus the output tokens itself. And a combination of both of these is what we call context limit, which is essentially the amount of tokens a model can give out in one specific response. So would it be cheaper if the models charged us by words than tokens? I personally think yes. Let's take two sample sentences. And again, this was generated by Claude. It says the cat sat on the mat. Now these are six words. So if the model was charging us based on words, this would essentially be six words. But if the model was charging us based on tokens, this would be the cat sat on the mat. And then there is the full stop, which would essentially be second seven tokens. And in the second example here, you can see anti disestablishmentarianism is a long word is actually the sentence that we feeding to the model, which is essentially five words, but the model then breaks it down in 11 different tokens. So if it, if it was charging based on words, it would be relatively cheaper because it's now charging on five words. But based on tokens, it's going to be 11 tokens. And this is assuming the cost of both words and tokens. Would, but it would have been definitely tough for the model to process this entire word in one go and would, you know, impact the efficiency of the model overall. So again, this is essentially the difference between a word and a token. It is also said that one word is equal to 0.75 tokens, given that the average word would, would be five characters in length. But again, it's it depends on the actual word. And this number may not necessarily be correct. So I hope you're now able to get the difference between the tokens and words and why we use tokens for machine learning models. If there are any questions, go ahead and let me know, but I'll see you guys in the next one.